Certifications show you're keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. And Microsoft has certification paths for many different technical job roles. And each one of these uh, certifications consists of passing one or more exams to earn that certification. Now, getting started with Azure and Azure certifications, there's a lot of different paths that we can choose to go down. Uh, and let's talk about first why you might want to get certified. So join me on my screen here. And I've got a couple statistics I want to share with everybody out there. Why get certified? Well, we can look down here and we'll see that 38% of IT positions will be cloud related by 2021. This means getting certified in Azure now is going to be a good thing, right? It's going to get you ready for the upcoming market. 35% of IT professionals say they are more influential during cloud deployments than counterparts during deployments of other technologies, right? These certifications keep you current. You understand the technologies that you're going to be using, and you can be more productive and more helpful to your team. 36.9% of IT professionals claim certification helped them perform complex tasks more confidently because you've seen it before, right? You've practiced this. You went in and you passed an exam on that technology. And therefore, when you go to implement it, you're already, you've already done it, right? You've already, you're skilled in that. You know you're skilled in that. You have the confidence to go in there and perform that task. Now, that's information from Microsoft, and they might be a little bit biased. Here's some from Pearson View. This is a, a test provider, and they did a, a big study, and you can download this paper uh, from Microsoft, but I just want to point out a couple quick statistics here. Impacts of certification, right? Which of the following benefits did you receive from completing your certification? And that first one there, 64.9% of the respondents said that they received a positive impact on my professional image or reputation. That means by earning that certification, right, people recognized my knowledge and my skill set. And so that gives me a leg up in that environment where I'm working, right? 22.6% of the respondents said getting certified allowed them to move into a career in IT. So maybe you're not in IT yet, right? And you're thinking about it. Maybe you're like me. I started out as a, uh, a restaurant manager before that. I was a bartender. Got bored with that, wanted to get in IT. One of the first things I did was get certified because that's going to help me break into that field, prove that I have the knowledge, be able to have something to put on my resume so that I can apply for those jobs. So getting certified is going to be key as you move into IT. Getting certified in Azure is where you want to be because that's where things are moving. This is where organizations are going to be looking for qualified candidates. Now, when it comes to getting certified in Azure, there's a lot of different routes you can go, right? We have things, as you can see from this chart, and I'll make these links available in the show notes down below, um, but your things like Azure Administ Administrator Associate, SAP Workload Specialty, Data Scientist, AI Fundamentals, AI Engineer Associate, right? Really a broad spectrum of where you can end up in Azure but most of those are not going to be starting points, right? You've got to start somewhere. Uh, and there's really two exams that I want to focus on uh, and talk about that, that will really have an impact on you getting started with Azure. So let's jump over here to Microsoft's webpage. This is docs.microsoft.com. Again, I'll put the link in the notes down below, but you can do a quick web search for Microsoft certifications and you can find this page really easy. And it allows you to filter your results. And if you look over here, I've selected Azure, right, for my product. And then I've also scrolled down and chose certification. If I uncheck that, you'll see there's certification and exams. Go ahead and select certification. That's going to limit this to just the different certifications. And the difference there, exams are something you go and you take, right, which we're going to have to pass in order to earn the certification. So an exam is a test that you would take. And then the certification is what you earn after you pass that test or that exam. Some certifications require a single exam. Others might require two or three in order to earn the certification. So what I would recommend if you're getting started is to look at the available certifications. Once you've chosen what certification you want to get, you want to end with, right? This is your end result is I want to earn this particular certification. Then you can determine what exams are required to earn that certification.
And as I said, with Azure, there's a lot of different routes you can go, but when you're first getting started, there's really two that I would recommend. One is gonna be the Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals, right? This is gonna be foundational knowledge about Azure and about cloud services in general. This is really a great starting point if you're getting into IT. Now, even if you've been in IT for a little while but are moving into cloud area, right? Moving out into Azure, this is a great place to start. If you have some familiarity with cloud and with Azure, you might choose to skip the AZ-900, that fundamentals, and you might move right into the Azure Administrator Associate. This is gonna be that next level up from the foundational. This will have some uh, um, prerequisites, if you wanna say, or they are going to assume that you already know all of that information that you would get by studying and preparing for the AZ-900. All right, so be, be careful with that one, right? Don't just jump into that one unless you have some familiarity with cloud and with Azure. But either route you go, what you're gonna to wanna to do in order to take one of these exams or in order to earn one of these certifications is you're gonna to need to take a look at what exams are required to get that certification, what the prerequisites are, if any, and what skills are gonna be tested on that certification. So we're gonna use the Azure Fundamentals as, a, as our example, but it's gonna work the same for any one of these. So I'm gonna go and click on Azure Fundamentals you see, that brings me to a screen here where it talks about the certification that I will earn. This is the Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals. And it tells me a little bit about how it's an opportunity to prove knowledge of cloud concepts, Azure services, and it goes on and on, right? And it tells me that there's not really any prerequisites. Right down here at the bottom, right, if I can get my box to work. Azure Fundamentals can be used to prepare for other Azure role-based certifications, uh, specialty certification, but is not a prerequisite for any of them. So it's telling me that I don't have to take this, right, in order to take some of those other ones. This doesn't, it's not something that I'm going to build upon, all right? Now, what skills are required? What if, let's say we want to go this route. I want to take that AZ-900. I want to be able to prove and validate my skills, my cloud skills, my Azure skills, all right? Well, if I scroll down, I will see what exams are required. And for this particular certification, it's one. You see on the left there, you've got that Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. Take one exam, and that will earn the certification Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals. Right? And then down below that, I can see what skills are measured. And it gives me this high-level outline of what's going to be on this exam. Describe cloud concepts. Describe core Azure services. And the list goes on, and we'll read all of them to you again. You'll be able to find this on your own with our links down below. Um, and then right below that is this download certification skills outline. Because what they're showing me here is a really high-level breakdown. Basically, we can call these domains of what that test is going to be broken down into. So I'm going to choose this download certification skills outline. This is what you're going to want to do, right? As you're preparing for any one of these Azure certifications or getting ready to take one of these exams, you want to print this out. Well, this is the way I do it anyway, and it's what I would recommend to you is get this printed out. Now, they update these, uh, these exams and the objectives quite often, right? As new technologies come out, as they make changes, they're going to need to change the exams as well. So make sure you go and get the latest version of this. You'll see up there in red, It'll talk about how as they make changes, they'll highlight those changes in red. So if you've been preparing for a few months and you go and you get the new copy of it and you realize, whoa, they've changed it, you can see exactly what they've changed by quickly scrolling through here and looking for the red. And also notice it breaks it down in a little more details. Now I can see, okay, 20 to 25% is based on cloud concepts. All right, and if I go down below there, another 10 to 15% on management tools. And then each one of these sections is broken down even further as to what I'm going to need to be able to do, right? So what I would recommend is that you print this out and use it as a checklist, right? Take a look at each one of these objectives and then check them off as you feel like you've covered them and that you're prepared and you have that knowledge. And by the end of it, when you've got them all checked off, now you can feel pretty confident that you're ready to go take that exam. So take advantage of that. Oops, let me zoom back out for you. Um, go out to Microsoft's site, download those latest objectives, and use that as a roadmap. Now, where do you find information? Like, I don't know anything about the benefits and usage of Internet of Things.
Well, there's a few ways you can go about learning that particular topic, right? You can find books on this, maybe go to Microsoft Press, you can go to docs.microsoft.com. Heck, you can even come here to itpro.tv where we've got courses on Azure Fundamentals and we walk through each one of these objectives to help you prepare for that exam. Same thing with the AZ-104. If you wanna get into that Azure Administrator Associate role, then we have courses that'll help you prepare for that exam. Now, once you've printed this out and you've chosen your route of study, you've checked all these off, you feel like you're ready to take the exam, the last step is to go schedule the exam and take that exam. So I'm gonna jump back to Microsoft page here because when you're ready to schedule the exam, I'm actually gonna click on the exam itself and then I'm gonna scroll down now you notice I've got a couple options here when it comes to scheduling the exam. In the top right hand corner you'll see the price for the exam and you can see mine is listed at $99 US and that's because I'm taking the exam here in the United States or I would be scheduling it here in the States. Choose your country, whichever country you're taking that exam from and that will show you the price in that region because the price of these exams is based on the region that you're taking the exam in. $99, that's a pretty good price. That's their price for these uh, foundational level exams. Then you're gonna choose where you're gonna take the exam. You have to choose the provider and you'll see that I have two, really I have three options over here. One of them's a little special. So let me zoom in real quick here. Uh, that very bottom one, it says schedule for USD 15. This is a, an offer that Microsoft is currently running because of the pandemic, the, the 2020 pandemic that's occurring. Uh, and if you've been impacted by COVID-19, you can take an exam. Microsoft is offering you the ability to take an exam for $15. So you can take advantage of that. But I don't know how long they're going to be offering that. So by the time you see this, it might or might not be available. So if it is, great. Take advantage of that. Uh, if not, well, you know, maybe they'll have another offer coming up soon. Right above that, though, is where you can choose to schedule your exam. So once you're ready, you've done your preparation, you come in here, you click on the exam that you want to take, you scroll down, you find his, and you can choose between Pearson View and Certiport. And let me tell you a little bit about the differences here, um, because in the end, it's the same exam. It should be the same price, no matter which vendor you choose, uh, and you're going to earn the same certification, right? You're going to get the Azure, uh, Microsoft certified Azure fundamentals. So what's the difference? It's really the way they offer it. Pearson View will offer it through both a testing center as well as online. And with today's pandemic going on, that online option is really nice, all right? So you can go into one of their centers and you can take the exam, or you can sit at home or at work and you can take the exam. Certiport is testing center only. So they've got facilities that you will go into uh, and take that exam. Like I said, but either way, you're still earning the same certification. So it's, it's a personal preference. If you want to take it online, your only option is to go with Pearson View. If you're going to go into a testing center, you can use either Pearson View or Certiport, whichever one's in your area, right? You might find that there's a Certiport test center right down the road from you. Or you might find that there's a Pearson View, like we've got one here at the local uh, community college, right? There's a Pearson View testing center there. I've recently taken several exams online through Pearson View. And there's a process you have to go through, but it, it works really well, and I don't have to go to any testing center. So pick one of those, whichever one you want, and then you'll be able to schedule from there. Based on their availability, they'll give you a calendar, you can pick the date, you can pick the time and you can schedule when you want to go in and take that exam. So that's a quick look at how you can get started in your Azure certification journey.